you guys are. Welcome to Grunt Proof HQ. This is where all the magic happens. I received a few questions on a very trendy topic. So I figure while I'm taking a break in this heat, I'll go ahead and address those now. This is going to be about everyday carry for the wilderness. This is what I carry on my person every day when I'm working out here in the mountains, on machinery, or stomping around in the woods. It's going to be part one of probably a two video series because if I know I'm going on an extended trip or I'm going really far away from the house, I will bring my ruck with me with all kinds of extra stuff in there. So this first video is going to be about just what I carry on my person. I noticed on social media there's a huge trend about uh, everyday carry stuff. Everybody seems to be carrying flashlights and knives and all kinds of stuff, even if they're hanging out in the suburbs and stuff. If you have a CCW and you're carrying a concealed pistol, I can understand that, especially in some of the city areas right now. But I, I don't really understand the EDC thing in the suburbs and stuff when there's literally tons of stuff you could always use. But hey, at least people are thinking about preparedness and being able to handle themselves should the situation arise. See a few of the vehicles we have back here behind me. And just about every day, I'm on at least two of these doing some kind of work. At dawn and dusk, and especially at night, there are big predators roaming around. There are big ass rattlesnakes. In an area this big, even if I'm just going to do some yard work or run a small errand or something, I usually leave the house with all this stuff just because I never know what I might get into. I might be doing some excavation work over here and then I gotta go off in the woods and find a dog or it breaks down and I gotta walk home through the woods. So I'm a firm believer that prepared lives matter. The last thing I wanna deal with is getting stuck in the woods or breaking down and not having some kind of defense on me. So with that being said, before I leave the door, even if I'm bringing a rucksack with me, I always grab at least one bottle of water that goes in my pocket and that stays on my person, especially in the summer out here. I usually keep a ton of water in my rucksack or in some of the vehicles I'm working on, but in case I was a dummy and didn't refill that water, at least I have enough to get by for a little bit because I'll drink about 20 of these a day when it's really hot. And that's nothing. This is a half liter bottle. You're supposed to drink minimum three liters of water per day, and that's in regular environments and regular activity. Out here, I treat it like Iraq. I try to get seven to 10 liters of water in me a day. And you know what? If I'm working hard enough, I'm still barely peeing. So this is a Dan Wesson revolver, fires 38 special. I've got some good rounds in there. There's my other defense. Hey buddy, new puppy we're training out here. Get used to those clicking noises, dude. I know this is not the coolest weapon. We do have pistols and rifles and shotguns. But if I'm out working all day, I don't want to have to remember to grab a rifle everywhere I go. And the kind of pistols we have, they're not really going to drop anything that I could run into. This will drop anything I could run into out here. And I also shoot the best with this one. I could basically hit anything out to 70 meters with this and not have to worry about it. So, plus it looks like a cool cowboy gun. Can't beat that. This belt is that uh, Solignac hunting company, that French company. And... I don't know what size rounds this belt is for, but it fits the uh, 38 Special perfectly. So I got plenty of extra bullets with me. As you can see, I have a K-Bar sheath on me, but this is actually a new knife that I'm testing for my buddy, Kirk Kermery. He sent it over to me to grunt proof it, and that's what I'm doing right now. And it just so happens that it fits perfectly in the K-Bar sheath. That's cool. The next priority is comms. This is your Baofeng UV5R TP, the eight watt version. It's really cool. Now, I know all the ham elitist guys are gonna stress out saying this is illegal. We just use this as a closed net. We have privacy and everything on the farm. Every now and then I listen to the repeaters just to see what's going on for news, but I don't transmit on these. And I know all the ham guys are gonna hate me having this, but guess what guys, I don't care. This is a good radio, it works for us. I don't even bother carrying my phone out here because we don't get cell service anyway. So radio is a primary means of communication. Then we got illumination. I just carry this tank light just in case I am stuck out working at night, but preferably I like to have a headlamp. I don't feel like carrying a headlamp all day long with me and this clips onto my belt. I do have it on a little carabiner on my belt. Otherwise for work during the day, I just got it on there just in case and I got it locked down. So I really like these little survival bracelets, but not for the compass, not for the ferro rod, not for the cordage, but for the whistle. The whistles on these things are awesome. And if I'm walking around the woods and I see a big animal or I wanna make my presence known, I'll just put a couple toots on this thing 
It's loud as hell, it's annoying. Of course I have a gun for self-defense, but I don't wanna to have to shoot an animal just for self-defense. So I'd rather make a whole bunch of noise, get them away from me. We're not in a national park where bears and mountain lions are used to people. Where we're at, wild animals, they're truly wild. They don't want anything to do with humans. So we make plenty of noise and they're gone, especially on the machinery. But let's say I'm out on the quad and I do have to go through the woods for something or I wanna walk around and check something out. I'll just give a couple toots on this, no problems. I just learned the other day that our new puppy actually responds to this whistle. So that's an added bonus. This is that Solognac company again, that French hunting company, really cool. I think the shirt costs less than 20 bucks, but it's a really light UV shirt, which is perfect for this environment. Sunscreen is essentially useless out here because you're either gonna have to apply it every 30 minutes or because it's so dusty, you're just gonna turn into a sugar cookie. Plus it attracts bugs. So I would rather just wear a long shirt, a sun shirt, be protected. I got my hat in case I'm in the direct sun. So I have all these cool outdoor pants, but as far as general work and just running around out here in the woods goes, I prefer just standard blue jeans. These are just basic Arizona jeans. I got them on sale for 12 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. They're tough as hell. They're comfortable to work in. And best of all, here's my snake protection. So I got these OD Green jungle boots. That's pretty thick nylon. If I'm, if I'm gonna be working in tall grass, I'll go ahead and tuck my blue jeans into the boots, just like we would in the army. And that's not going to totally protect you from a big snake bite, but it's, it's definitely better than nothing. Plus that also keeps the critters away. Puppy's taking a break too. Huh, Woody? What you got? Huh? We got five dogs and he's the only one that actually follows me around and stays with me. So he's gonna be one of the good ones. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Stick around for part two of this series where I'm gonna get into the ruck that I carry or some of the bags that I'll throw into quads and machinery with me. That's if I know I'm gonna be out all day or if I'm going really far away I need, and I need to prepare for more extreme scenarios. Let me know what you guys thought about this down below. If you have any suggestions about how I could alter my stuff or complaints or you just wanna talk shit, throw that down below too. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. And until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Ciao. Come on, buddy. Come on.